We are back. We're back. Storm's gone. We have survived. I have a new shirt on that's dry. Chris is still alive. I didn't change. I ain't no pussy. <laughs> Chris isn't a pussy. It's a two-man tent and there's eight people here. It doesn't look promising. This doesn't look promising, but... So if the line back, that, I'm assuming that's not good. Take this well, over, man. I gotta good. get a lot water. Of times it means, uh, something picked up your bait and rather than coming out, it's probably swimming in. Okay. So you just gotta get the rod really slacking. Just like any other fish. You just wanna see if you feel it. You feel tugging. So you just, give it a little tug and then you're going to take off. You don't want to set the hook right away. You want to let it meet. So that means sometimes you're using the bait. You might only have part of it. Okay. Let them run. Let them eat it a little bit. I mean, I don't know. It, I was gonna say if anyone's interested in learning how to do this, now they can just come fish for you with you for free. But in case they can't make it for a while, they want to know. So basically, you have these rods set, yeah. and they're taunt. There's a little bit of a bend in the rod. Yeah. They're they're taunt. Yeah. So if you see them go slack, it's possible that something picked it up and moved closer in. Yep. For the most part, most of your 10 hits, your rod's gonna get bent over. Right. I don't know if you guys can see this, but basically the rods are, they're out there, they're taunt, they're real taunt, they're almost slightly bent a little bit, each of them. God, that weather looks bad. <laughs> so that, yeah. He's too short to get hit by lightning. <laughs> we won't need headlamps. We won't need headlamps. <laughs> I mean, we we haven't seen any lightning yet. Yeah, I think it's just front. That is a hell of a front, though. Yeah, it's uh, here one time here for an hour, and it was worse than this. It was like black, and we got off the beach. Holy shit. At least it didn't turn one of your rods into a lightning rod. Yeah. Well, baits haven't been out there that long. Look, we're pretty much now, right? We already had one creature on, probably a big ray. Is that the same as a butterfly ray, or that's different? That's different. All right, now we have lightning. Now there's 16 people in this video waiting to watch one of us get hit by lightning. We keeping this one in, or is that just getting ready to go out again? I don't know if you guys can see this, but it literally looks like a scene from a movie. Yeah, it's hardcore, man. <laughs> Eddie says we're gonna get murdered by a water spout. Unfortunately, the wind is getting really, really bad. I'm trying to block the sound input with my hand from the wind. I don't know how well you guys can hear. These yeah. pictures are amazing. All right. I think we got to we throw the baits out before this wind came up. Okay, so the storm's coming. Yeah. 
It might be time to shut the lo uh, maybe not. We'll let it run. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Yeah, we're in trouble. Yeah, now I'm getting blasted with sand, guys. I'm eating sand. It turned into it. It went from a live shark fishing episode to watch Mother Nature kill us. We're in trouble. We're in. We're in trouble now. I wonder if this is like a tornado. Uh, Either way, something's gotta happen. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! Is anyone still here to watch us die? Yeah, oh yeah. You think someone's gonna leave while this is happening? I just got pelted in the legs with sand so hard, I, it hurt. Damn. Weather report say anything about this? Uh. One mile an hour gusts. No, it didn't. I, I, my app said 31 mile per hour was okay. I thought it was fucked up. Or, uh, Joe just lost his hat. We're, uh... Watch out. Alright, so it's almost impossible to do anything. The wind's crazy. The sand is pelting us. And oh, Joe! There's a 75% chance Joe gets blown away by the wind right now. Dude, you got a GoPro some of this shit. I gotta do both, I just both I can't multitask. doesn't give a shit. He's eating a sandwich. Yeah, it's dinner time. He doesn't give a shit. Every time I talk, I get sand in my mouth. Louis smart enough to have his back into the wind. Passing off to Joe. You guys might go for a ride. Oh yes, John, it's a shit show. Yes. <coughs> the storm's insane. But it does seem like it's passing. But now the rain's here and it's freezing. Oh my god. Just bear with us, folks. Holy shit. All right, now it's pouring. Let's go back to the rods. And the wind. If anyone's still with us, we're having a bit of a tough time right now. The cold rain is freezing, damn it. Oh, man. I, I mean, these gusts are, it's crazy. It's literally the gust behind this storm. It's just, it's the worst storm i ever seen. So there's wet side sharking. They're all cuddling. <laughs> sometimes if you cuddle, the sharks think that you're uh, the, the They're trying to survive. <laughs> the storm. He's killing me 
just up. toss this in there. Sharkfish, I'm gonna pelt it with hail. God damn it. I've been uh, really hit here by a looks like a Listen, we would tough it out here, but the lightning, I'm not going to play with the lightning. So, oh my god, hold on.
the door. You got the key. It's just the, the, the handle. It's just the handle, please. Chris, it's just, no, no, not that. Just the handle of the car. What? Hold the body. There you go. Holy shit. Oh. Get in. We are back. We're back. Storm's gone. We have survived. I have a new shirt on that's dry. Chris is still alive. I didn't change. I ain't no pussy. <laughs> Chris isn't a pussy. We got some beautiful sky behind us now. I'm freezing though. Oh, shit. Don't put your sweatshirt on. This shit's in the car. Why are you filming me? I'm just sharing the links. All right, so we're getting reset up here. Switch the camera. The guys are putting rods yeah, back Louis, out. Louis, uh, put lights on. Louis putting the glow sticks on. We're getting ready to get into the darkness. Rod's too thick for glow sticks. It's still lightning out there, but oh, that's, that's past us. All right. So, how'd you feel about the storm? That was uh, definitely something. So this is the tent. This is the tent that Lou was in during during the time we were hiding in the car. This is where Lou survived. Yeah, because I didn't want to pull the bait in. And so I sat here and watched the rod. As you can see, it's pretty uh, sandy and it took quite a beating. It's half buried in the sand. Oh, I know it's not gonna blow away now. No, it's going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he did stay here to defend the rods. I knew the storm wasn't going to last, so I couldn't do that. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe, uh... Now we're trying to put a shark on. Yeah. Now maybe we'll be blessed with the shark. I mean, we did see two rainbows. That's a really good sign. What my daughter did. Oof! There was a light, big one. Yeah. Shit. I think Alex is getting a bite right now. Chris might have fish action down here, Chris. Chris, Chris. Yeah. Might be getting something nibbling here. What? Might be getting tip tapped here. I'm getting nobody now. Just most. Be 
might be on here. Might be on, maybe not. We are back live, shark fishing after the storm now. The storm has passed. Come on guys, get back into the live stream. Share the link, the new link is up. We are back shark fishing after the storm. We will not be leaving now. Just had maybe possibly one runoff. So yeah, anybody getting just back? Yeah, we were hit. He may have just hooked up. Fish on. We're back on. He dropped it. Fish off. Fish off, but a runoff. Good sign. Seven on that one battery. Yeah. And how many batteries do you have? You're on yours. All right, so you, you can only do that six or seven more times. Yeah. I mean, it works from Yeah, it's not the end of the world. It just gives you more options. It puts the bait out in, uh, you know, bait out in different uh, zones. We are live again back on the beach after the death storm. As you guys, yes, they are finally starting to get back in. Guys, share the link. We are live again. Uh, there are no more storms, so we won't be leaving. Please share the link. NJ Angler, yo, KJB. Is John Boyd in here? Yo. What were you saying? I forgot. He had some of Joe's stash. Yeah, yeah. I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, that storm that almost uh, fucked us up is now offshore. Good. Yeah, you can still see the remnants of that storm off offshore over here. We're going for sharks. This guy forgot to read the title. What species are we going for specifically? I Even though you cannot control what sharks you, bite your shit. You can't control it, but I'll tell you, I'm some black tip spinners, but Bad news for uh, waders in the ocean. Good news. Yeah, yeah the, the, the movie Jaws was written based on, on, on those events of uh, bull sharks coming up in the river, right? Yeah. I'm sure they're one of them. So I have to get, I keep to keep getting so close to you just to see if, make sure people can hear. What's up, Adam? Adam Mahar in the chat. All the sponsors of the episode. I think uh, we heard drag. 
Over here. What? Yeah, might have had something pick this up, checking it out. Nah, let's sit. All right. He wants to come back. Yeah, that's one of those baits. That that's one of those uh, pieces of dogfish. There's no way he's ripping that off without getting hooked. Yeah, so we got, they picked, so something picked it up because now the bait's all off to the other side here. Yeah. Yeah, we had this one straight out. This one has only, only been out for about 10 minutes. Got something else going on over here. Joe! When you're done, I need a headlamp. She's starting to spin. Anyone who's just coming in, uh, if you missed the first part there, we tried to stick it out, but we got hammered by a ridiculous storm. Louie did stick it out. Louie. Yeah, Louie and Anthony were uh, cuddling in the tent. Yeah, for safety, whatever you say, Lou. Uh, but uh, they stayed out, the, the rods stayed out. Thankfully, none of them turned into a lightning rod. Uh, the rest of us grabbed some of the important equipment and hightailed it for the cars. Uh, the storms are gone. You can still see, I don't know if you caught that, those lightning strikes offshore in the distance while I'm filming here, but uh, past us now and uh, it ain't too bad out here it's a little windy hopefully you guys can hear me uh, we, we just got some of the baits back out they got all jacked up and uh, seems like we've, we're getting some activity Uh, we get the yeah, get we get the same thing. Fresh water is just fishing. That's what we're here for. I guess catfishing would be the most similar to this in fresh water that there is. We go, we're up. Might have a fish running here. It's definitely gone. Something's running. Something's running. Here, Chris. Another miss. 
So this episode is brought to you by Adam Mihara Fishing Lures, AM Anglers. So Adam Mihara kind of came off to a very rough start on the Mayhem website because he backed some people that maybe we didn't like. But Adam Mihara was just trolling everyone the entire time. Uh, I caught a bass on one of his lures. He sent me lures. Oh, hold on. Nothing. Um, so Adam Mihara sent me some lures. One of them did. Uh, I actually threw it to make sure it didn't work so I could make fun of him. And it ended up working. So... Yeah. Adam be hard fishing. Uh, Adam doesn't mean to portray himself as the troll. As, uh, he's actually a very nice guy. He wants to set the record straight. Well, guys, here's the thing about Adam. He has a sense of humor. Some of you didn't get it. You got pissed off at him. Let me tell you something. Joe got some of his lures. He really, he really, did, he wanted, he wanted to bust his balls right back. He threw that lure expecting to say, "Hey, Adam, I bought your lures. It, they worked. I didn't use them yet. I didn't get a chance to use them yet. I mean, go check them out, guys. Some of them look cool. I mean, he he makes these custom lures. You can literally call him and say, "Hey." I fish this lake here at Lake X. Uh, the fish are really biting on this weird colored sunny. The sunnies have this uh, this purple color on them. Now it looks like a horror film. <laughs> All right, he can make you a lure, paint it exact. You take a picture. Hey, look these sunnies. This is what the bass is eating. Send, send them a picture. Help paint the lures look exactly like what your cat, what the fish are eating in, at this lake that you're fishing. I'm telling you. It makes a difference. I used to color my own soft plastics. Custom colors make a difference. It's just, it's a lot of work. I don't Blair. do it for myself Adam anymore. Adam said the Blair Witch. Yeah, Blair Witch. Sorry, Adam. You, you want to sponsor a live episode? This is what you get. We're on the beach. We almost died from a death storm. It looks like the Blair Witch Project. You, you should have seen it before. You should have seen me running through the hailstorm. This is not the shirt I came in. Nah. Joe pissed himself, and he doesn't have a new pair of underwear. But in all, in all seriousness, if if you need custom lures, if you want to try out custom lures, these these are not expensive. You you could go to another site. You're gonna pay out your ass for a custom lure. Adam also big lures though. If you're looking for big lures, he ha he makes a lot of really good bigger lures for musky and pike. I'm pretty sure. Look. Let's be honest, I, I mean, Adam can tell me I'm wrong if I'm wrong, but I think he can attempt to make you pretty much anything of that type of lure that could be made out of wood and some other materials that he uses. Uh, He's answering you. Can't you see him? No, I can't. He's not answering my question. Survivors. Calling me a Blair bitch. Oh, no, Blair witch. We're trying to fucking plug your shit, and you're still trolling us. He never stops. I love it. I don't know how anyone... How do you not like this guy? Just troll him back. So the real life story of Adam Mahar is he's a complete dick on the internet, but he's cool in real life. And if you want... if you want, Look, if you want a custom lore and you don't want to pay out your ass, this is the kind of guy you want to get it from. Someone who's just starting to master their craft. Forgot to mention that. He will not sell you a lure. He doesn't test out. And if, if he sells you a lure and you get it and you throw it in the water and it doesn't swim, you contact us. We know where he lives. We'll find him. We'll just ask ourselves. I'll stand by his own guarantee. He tests these lures out himself. They're going to swim. You got a complaint, you come to us. We got, I'm going to dig out my headlamp. I'm giving you back to Joe. Get, I, I want the spotlight. Here. This can go right here. Spotlight. We're gonna go see some poles up so just so you guys could see. We have rods down the beach. This one does not have a glow stick on it. Who's talking? Mother Nature, Kevin Meminger, yes. 
Uh, we working class. We had one ray on a giant ray. The guy estimates 200 pounds. Snapped off the leader, and then we had three. Have not hooked up solid yet with a shark. Uh, we are just watching the rods. The guy did working his rods. Chris Peters for the ride home. He's right there. Meminger said, where's Chris Beater? Right here. I was just talking for fucking 10 minutes. Guys, we also, while we a little downtime after the death storm, we have to plug Jan Pro from Ro Jan Pro from Promotions from Adam Moonaki. Anything you need custom made for your company. Uh, coffee mugs. Pens, t-shirts, I mean, you pretty much name it. Calendars, they'll make anything for you in the thousands. Companies, business cards, that's Jan Pro. Jan Pro Promotions out of Moonaki, New Jersey. They'll most likely be making all the mayhem stuff. Uh, Jan Pro Promotions, Moonaki. Uh, we have their website info, Jan Pro. Uh, I'll post, I will post it, we'll post it on the Facebook and the Instagram, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's Jan, if you, if you Google Jan, J-A-N promotions, it'll come up. Jan Pro, J-A-N Pro, uh, and you could literally, if you have a company or you are having a family get together, whatever, you need t-shirts, pens, coffee mugs, they'll put whatever you need on whatever you need. Jan Pro promotions out of Moonaki. Uh, Adam, here we go, here we go, here we go, 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 go. Got a rod going. Got a drag running here. If you want to see the drag running. Run for a little bit? That drag is just running. If you could see that, guys, that is just the bait in a fishing mouth, and it is running. Wet side sharking. Come on, Louie. So the bill. He's got it. He's got in his mouth. Louie says he could feel it in his mouth. There it is. Hook set. Oh, and there's some weight. There's some weight. We're on. We're on. We're on. Here we go. It's a shark live on Shark Week. Wet side shark and is hooked up. Hooked up. Chris is on the GoPro. Live folks from the Jersey Shore. Fish on! Fish on! We have a fish on west wet side shark and reaction tackle 80 pound braid being used here folks and we're hooked up You're under it, you're under it. Hooked up. So we're heading 
down towards the wash, hooked up. Running down the beach. Uh, he didn't like that. Yeah, he didn't like it. Taking drag. Fish on, fish on. We are hooked up. I repeat, hooked up. I can't, Adam. I'm chasing the shark up and down the beach. They're all over the place. Can't use a tripod. He's wearing a chest harness, so you can watch the video from the GoPro and it'll be better. This shark looks like it's right here in the wash. Yeah, we got all night, Joel. We ain't going nowhere. I could see the weight. Got some lightning. Shark week. There's a tail. There she is. Here we come.